Good morning, folks. We've got deep space news, rare quakes, climate, weather, and our friends at Nine Reese quickly nailed down why NASA's SDO website isn't working. So for the second day in a row, we're not starting at spaceweathernews.com, and instead, we're showing the expired certificate from NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory website. But alas, just as yesterday, we don't need that website anymore for the news. It was another relatively calm day on the sun, but not without some features of note. From a filament perspective, we do have ropes facing Earth, but the limb activity is much higher. Big filament turning across the disk has remained completely stable. Those umbral fields we pointed out yesterday as not having sunspots beneath them must have heard themselves getting called out. The spots develop throughout the day and overnight into this morning. We've got seven days of solar wind here instead of the normal three. This is to see the full onset of the weak coronal hole stream in full as it begins to wane this morning after producing only the shortest of low-level geomagnetic storms. The next opening is crossing center disk with its solar wind arrival expected Friday and a lithospheric break once again before that. Over the last day, the seismicity was lower but in some odd locations, way off the Alaskan faults and up in Santa's workshop, maybe a reindeer hoedown, who knows. Worst oil spill since 1991 has taken place from that crashed Iranian oil tanker off the coast of China. Although the flames were put out last week, the oil has continued spilling and covers nearly 50 square miles of surface area now. So folks, we all know about active galactic nuclei, but those are not the only progenitors of cosmic jets. Some stars do it all on their own, and the ones we see spinning out of control we call pulsars. While there remains a lot of unanswered questions about pulsars, including some disagreements between standard model and electrical cosmology, nevertheless the observations of a spinning lighthouse are real, and the model suggesting their use for interstellar navigation appears to be sound. Two quick notes here. Major progress on the galactic magnetic fields using Faraday rotation and the imagined device. Our galaxy is dominated by these forces. Lastly, folks, after Yale and Princeton gave us reasons to think about a colder-than-expected future, Stanford comes out and sticks with the warmer future stance. It should be noted, however, that co-author Ken Caldera is one of the leading voices in favor of spraying the skies to block the sun. All his eggs and his entire career are already in the warming basket. Folks, at one point today, the snow line will stretch from New England down through the Texas border into Mexico. That is a long, thin white line. Europe up next, it's safe to say that those affected are well aware of it, nothing stopping the flow out of the Atlantic for a few more days at least. Meanwhile, New Zealanders might have been able to see the storm offshore the last few days, but by tomorrow's news, the rain will have hit just about everyone there. We greatly appreciate your support. It's how these morning news keep coming out each day. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.